Hey, I've built a tiny timer app and you should definitely check it out. It's built in Tauri and Next.js. It's pretty exciting stuff. It's a sim very simple timer, but it has uh, all of the necessary t features, maybe unless you want to time things for longer than an hour. But let's check it out. So you have the themes, you have the buttons, you have everything you need to time your eggs or writing or whatever. So Tauri and Next.js, Tauri is, uh, is the replacement for Electron. It's really good. It's really fast. It uses uh, Rust on the backend, so it's extremely safe, secure, and also just state-of-the-art speed that you ever would want from an app. Not like in Timer, it <laughs> makes a lot of difference. We don't use uh, Tauri for a lot of things, but it's still a pretty exciting thing to use. So you can see all of the colors. Those come from the theme that we've picked with Daisy UI. Really cool stuff. Um, if you look, there is this input bar, which is a single input uh, item where I use regexes and validation to just make sure that the user never uh, fucks things up. Like in general, always the stuff that's in there is uh, what you would want it to be. So we type 1101 and uh, we change it to 1 minutes so that we can actually do some stuff while the timer goes on. So you can see there is this nice toggleable settings button, really cool stuff, and a volume bar where you can just pick your personalized uh, volume level at which you want the birds to, bird song to, to wake you up after a short nap. You can check all of those themes. They come from the Daisy UI um, library framework i think it's both kind of it's based on tailwind it's really nice easy to use i was kind of surprised how easy it is to set up all of those themes you can use pieces of code from the uh from the open source timer uh repository that I've generated for this project. So like every little thing that you see in here, you can check out how it's done. Sometimes it's not done in the best way that you would want it to be, but it's still, I think, uh, fairly cool to like look how those things can be done. And yes, the timer goes off and uh, the birds chirping uh, can be, it's, it's a nicer sound than the usual alarm. I hate the usual iOS alarms and things like that, but, but let's click on it to turn it off and let's go to the documentation to, uh, to check out how to install this very simple timer app. Yes, as you can see, everything is open source, uh, but the, the documentation is sadly missing. So what we can do is we can literally just write ones, one ourselves. Well, I did actually write the whole thing here uh, with the help of Copilot, as you can see. Copilot is fairly helpful, but in this case, I would want a slightly less specific documentation, I think. Let's just assume people know how to install Node.js and Tauri, although it might sometimes be the case that, that you don't know, but then just leave a comment below and I'll add all of the necessary stuff to the documentation or even just make a PR and and then we can uh, we can have a more detailed documentation. But for now, I feel like we should be able to just install Rust, Node.js, Yarn and and all of those things. And uh, and let's trust our users to know what they're doing a little bit. Uh, you also have to be able to git clone everything. So just let me know in the comments if, uh, if you're at a level where this would be also an interesting tutorial for you to go through. Um, so now the point is when you have all of this set up, as you can see, the, the folder structures, basically it's both, uh, JavaScript for the front end, Next.js, as I've mentioned before, and Rust at the back end. Uh, you basically like everything is managed by yarn uh, cargo is being used by yarn as a way to uh, to manage the rest uh, the rest package but in general unless you're using rust only towery version then you will have yarn or npm or, or whatever is your favorite uh, javascript package to like manage all of this stuff around 
so now to run the application, you just run Yarn Towery Dev. It immediately goes up with all of the all of the pretty nice um, auto refresh and so on when you change the code. But we want to build it. So uh, the other way is just yarn build. So let's commit our documentation fairly quickly. Uh, yeah, you can see how great I'm at typing. It's always painful to see myself typing. And we have our documentation online. Everyone can see how to, uh, how to start this app. Let's see how to install it because I'm actually running this timer to count myself when I'm writing. Sometimes I want to write for like 30 minutes, just, just write any bullshit, give myself 40 minutes. So now I have a pretty nice timer uh, that I've built for myself for this. So just uh, yarn Tauri dev is a way to, to run the development environment as you can see. Uh, and the other way would be to run yarn towery build which we will now do and with this command uh with this command i'm not sure how it works on things like windows and linux i haven't tried it out yet i would be assuming that it's fairly easy to use because i've checked out the Mm, because the macOS version is like really, really friendly. So basically you run yarn build and sometimes I think uh, the installer popped out for me just, just uh, by itself, but right now it's not. So let's click on the link. It's the bundle one. So, uh, so it's the last two second, like it's the second uh, line from the bottom. Uh, there's a link and you can click it to open up the installer. Um, oh, it's it's this one. So it was actually running. That's that's yeah. So basically, you click this line, and uh, and what happens is everything opens up, and you have to obviously drag stuff from the other screen. But basically, once you finish, you can open this puppy out and uh, s just drag and drop it as you would in a regular application. And we're back to the beginnings. We can open up our new timer application. The icon is slightly too big, generated by AI, like every kind of dev uh little tiny thing that you would want to like all of the assets just generate them by AI and then later uh, figure them out so yeah so in case you're interested I'll be trying to create more tutorials about how to build this thing from scratch uh, how to make some decisions better than I did hopefully if you're interested in learning how to code build stuff like this Rust, uh, Python JavaScript, also ML, AI, ChatGPT, Copilot, and things like that, then leave a subscribe, click that bell, drop a star on GitHub, and see you soon in the next video.